Hey guys, this is Caffeine Gaming, and today we're doing a not-so-live unboxing of the Nintendo Switch. So we accidentally, accidentally on purpose, ended up with a uh, Nintendo Switch. I wasn't planning on doing this, but uh, we're going to get going here and unbox this. So, I guess I should move this a little lower so I can actually open this while unboxing it. And uh, there may be a cat involved in this. <clears throat> I don't expect this to be very... Um, exciting uh too much so um let's just go ahead and flip the box open real quick here so you guys can see i'm hoping i'm in the center because i can't yeah so you can see it's pretty well boxed up in here you've got the two joy cons i'm not sure why the hell those are called that and then the actual screen itself so <laughs> and the cat's already Ruffling through. So you can see here we've got, uh, this is the left Joy-Con here. You've got, it's pretty cool. And here is the right one. And I know they got plus and minuses on them, so I guess that way you can, I don't know, zoom in and zoom out. And, wow, this is stuck in there. All right. And I'll take some actual, show some actual photos of this up close and personal, but you can see here that we've got the, um, the switch itself. So you can see the back there, um, doing a quick search here. It looks like the top got power and volume. Am I in the middle? A Am I a little off that way? Yeah. There you go. I can't see what I'm doing. Looks like there's volume on the top where my finger thumb is. Uh, we've got the game cartridge, and uh, that would be the headset right there. Um, let's see here. So I think this just... I should have you do this. But I think this just slides in here just like this. So there you go. And that's uh, this is the gray one. I think that's pretty cool. I've already got my fingerprints all over it. That is fantastic. We've got the kickstand, which, wow, that is terrible design. That's okay. I can already feel, I haven't even used the kickstand and you can feel how weak it is. Um, looks like it's got all the power stuff on the bottom. Actually, I wonder, I'm not sure. That actually may be a fan up there on the top. But that looks pretty cool. Let's see what else is in the bottom here. Here's a box, here you go. Uh, let's see here. We've got, ah, so this is the controller that you actually put the Joy-Cons into. So that's pretty cool. Nothing exciting there. Do these just slide right out? Oh, they do. They just pop right out. Wow. How did I do that? I guess I didn't get them in there to begin with. Ah, there's a little button on the back. You pop, you actually push. I didn't show that off. It's in the corner there. Let me go ahead and just slide those right in there that is a perfect size for my hands probably not so much for people with bigger hands so that's cool let's see we've got your basic power cables this looks like uh hdmi oh my gosh it's a brick that goes into the wall look at that thing i'm gonna take it out of the packaging look at that brick this isn't as bad as like the Xbox original brick, which was like 40 pounds and you could kill a small child with, but uh, that's still pretty pretty big considering. I'm guessing there's probably a little bit of a surge protector in there as well, which is nice to actually see that built into a console. Um, if you wanna know any of the health and safety in, uh, safety information, don't throw it in the bathtub while, you're, it's, while it's on and you're in the bathtub, because you'll probably get electrocuted. Uh, let's see what's in here, because this looks like it's the actual stand itself. Also, I like how there's, like, plug it in is rule one, or is the step one, set it up is step two. Thanks, guys! I would have never guessed that. So this is the, this is styrofoam that won't come out. Uh, we've got the actual stand itself, so this is where... Let me make sure that we put this in correctly. <laughs> But this goes, where the heck is the bottom? Ah, so this goes in here somehow. Um, 
<laughs> I'm not wrong. My fiance is in here with me. Um, but you can see here, I, I'm sure there's instructions on this, the power, where the power cord goes. And you can see, actually, maybe you can't see right in the video, but you'll be able to see in a picture. AC adapter, USB, and HDMI out. So there's some stuff you have to hook up to get this to work. But uh, that's not bad. It doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty sturdy. I mean, this is pretty sturdy. It's got a little power thing here. Um, so that's pretty cool. Go ahead and just set some stuff up here. Obviously, we haven't played this yet. Um, that's tonight's thing. And uh, I don't know if I'll maybe show this off. Um, I have to find out if I can even record off of this. I may be able to, since it's HDMI and there's no gamepad per se, um, I may be able to use this and actually show this off uh, on the channel. Um, speaking of which, we can actually move on here. Let me just set that over here. Since we have a switch, we actually need to, uh, you know, play said switch. Uh, so we picked up Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Actually, I didn't pick it up. My fiance did. Thank you, by the way, for that. Uh, yeah, right. So after you break your fingers on the freaking packaging, oh my gosh, look at this. Like, I understand why this packaging needs to be uh, in existence because you can see how tiny this is. This would be, this would walk off it was, if it was in like a very small package, but holy crap, make this the size of like the 3DSs or something, like the 3DS cases. Cause this is, this is just as unspeakable and there's not even a thing to stick in here. It's empty, but it's pretty cool. I like the artwork on the back of it, but it's just, <laughs> look at this. Um, the cartridge is, if I remember correctly, it's actually smaller than a 3DS's cartridge. I could go find one, uh, show you guys. Um, but it's, it's absolutely positively tiny. Um, about half of my thumb. Look at that. That is just, I, it's crazy. Uh, but that is just so small. I have no idea. I've heard nothing but good games. Oh, it's compatible with Amiibos. Uh, probably not the Amiibos I have. I do have some, but not for Zelda. Um, but still, that's pretty cool. So let's see here. And uh, here's a cartridge. This is, uh, oh, it's linked to the past. Yeah, you can see here, this is actually smaller than the 3DS uh, by quite a bit, actually. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool how tiny that little guy is. Um, wow, look at that, though. That is, that is awesome artwork, but holy crap, make your cases match the rest of your cases, would you? So that's pretty much it for today. Just wanted to show off our newest addition to the family of consoles that we currently have growing in our living room. Um, like I said, if I can get this one to actually record, um, I may be showing it off at some point in time just to give you guys a feel to what the graphics look like. If Nintendo doesn't, uh, you know, come down on me and, uh, Tell me no, because there's always a chance they'll just rip my video uh, off uh, YouTube, because that's what they do. And that's what they've done in the past. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, there'll be pictures uh, and close-ups and stuff um, of all of this, so you can actually see what this looks like. We don't have a cover for this yet, but maybe eventually we'll get a screen protector so that we don't um, scratch it up or anything. This is actually a little bit bigger than a Vita, but not by much. Okay, that's fine. Everything will just fall over. That's pretty cool. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you next time.